Hi, this is Kevin Woodbury. I wanted to go over a couple of tools that we used the other day. But before we start, why don't I ask everybody to open up Photoshop. Um, well, you can't actually duplicate what I'm doing, so just watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the Window option. I'm going to go into Workspace. It does say Photography. But I'm going to click Reset so that this is the standard setup for the Photography Workflow or um, workspace. So this makes sure that all of my tools over here are going to be the similar tools to uh, to what you folks might see when it comes down to it. This stuff here may not be um, the same as you, the libraries, but, but the rest of it should be the same. Um, so you might want to click on adjustments when you open your thing. That's what I use the most. Um, so this is kind of the standard work workspace for doing photography editing. So first thing I want to do is show you uh, the crop tool again. Um, so if I click on the crop tool, which is here, um, notice that right now it's just a space with some, some lines around it. But if I were to click on this in the middle of anywhere, it's going to give me a grid. And the grid comes from up here. Uh, if you remember, this has the rule of thirds in it. Um, this has golden spiral. Um, obviously, the golden spiral doesn't fit here because that house would almost have to be here for that to fit the golden spiral. Um, so I'm going to say we're going to go to the golden ratio. Um, I like this uh, the golden ratio for this particular um, uh, image because I like having a little more foreground. The rule of thirds would break the foreground down a little further. Um, but I think I need some foreground because I want this road. Um, so I'm going to crop up uh, because I want this bottom power line to be on the house. And I want to crop in a little bit so that the power line splits the house kind of like that. So to me that's a, that's a better composition. Rule of thirds, just to show you what the difference would be. Um, rule of thirds would have the uh, foreground down a little further, crop up, so you would you would see a little less uh, of that foreground. But again, I think the road is important, and I don't want to lose the road. So I I particularly in this case like the golden ratio. I think it's a little better. So I'm going to go back down to here, and notice it gives me a lot more of the road in the foreground kind of helps lead me in. So I can say yes by hitting this check mark. I can say no by hitting this um, and it cancels it. But I wanted to show you one other thing. There's something called delete cropped pixels. And what that does is if I say yes, if I go ahead and hit this check mark um, and this were checked, um, the cropped area that um, is kind of in the uh, shadow on the, on the picture, this area down here, this side area, would go away. It would no longer be editable. You could not get back to it. Um, if I say and take that off, it means that later on I could come back and recrop this because all of this shadow area, if you want to call it that, would remain and um, it would it would be something I could go back and recrop. So I like to keep this off. Um, I don't like to have that checked. That's just a personal preference because sometimes they do recrop. So I'm going to say yes. And there's the um, there's the finished version. Now just to show you um, from a composition standpoint, if I hold down the um, a command or control Z and press Z. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to hit the, uh, actually the Alt or Option key and the Control or Command key together with the Z in this case. Um, that's the original. And now I want to go back and um, I'd like to see what, what the cropped version looks like. That step forward. And there's the... Uh, that is the crop version. So this is original. Ah, come on. This is not cooperating. And 
that's the crop. So I, I think this is stronger. So anyway, um, the next thing I want to do is I want to select this house because I think it's too small in the scene. Now maybe that's cheating, but I just think it is. So one of the things I want to do is I want to enlarge this picture so I can see this house a lot, lot better. And if I hold down um, the command or the control key and hit the plus sign, it bring it zooms in, which is what I want to do. And I can use the navigation pane. pane uh, sorry about that. Um, I can use the navigation pane to move around if I want. Um, I can also hold down my space bar. And I, wow, I don't know why it's doing that. It should not be. First of all, that's too loud. But um, if I hold down the space bar and just kind of move my cursor, it does the same thing as the navigation pane. So it's up to you which you want to use. Now the house is not all that sharp. I do have a picture where the house is sharper. I guess I picked the wrong one, but I'm not going to go back at this point. Um, so I'm going to try what Norm had suggested, and that is the, let's see where it is, the polygon lasso tool. Because in this case, um, it's got a lot of straight lines. Oops. And I'm going to just kind of highlight everything that I want bigger. Um, I want the rocks in the foreground to be a little bigger. And what I'm doing is just clicking, moving my cursor a little bit, clicking. Um, and every time I click, it kind of puts an anchor point so I can um, make sure that I'm getting everything I want. This lasso tool is actually, I want to thank Norm for that. It actually is something I never used to use that much, but in this case, it's actually better than the quick select tool, uh, which I've tried before and it didn't work all that well. Now I'm going to get tree branches in there, but you're not going to see them. Um, and I guess the right way to do this is here. And if I get, if I don't get all of the house um, for today's purposes, it's not that big a deal. But this this tool works really well because there's a lot of straight lines in this. Um, and I think I missed the edge of that, but I'm not going to go back and fix it. Now, if I get a little bit of the foreground, that's not a big deal, or the uh, surrounding area, that's not a big deal. And there. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, if I really cared about this edge, I could use the quick select tool and just kind of um, grab this edge, but I'm not going to. Um, I think for my purposes, this is good enough. Now I want to make this house bigger. So I'm going to go into edit and transform and scale. And notice you get the bounding box. Um, so I'm going to hold down my shift key so anything I do is proportional. And I'm going to kind of go up there and I'm going to kind of go up here. Just to uh, notice that you're getting a little bit of this uh, background showing up. So I'll just pull it in. Um, I'm going to have to fix that with the clone tool. But that makes the house just a little bit bigger within the scene. It's not drastically bigger, um, but it's enough. And so now I'm going to say, yes, I want to do that. If I didn't, I'd hit this uh, cancel key. But I'm going to say, yes, that's good. And I'm going to hit the control or command D for deselect. And now I want to just clone in where these areas are a little, little, uh, you can see the background. This checkerboard in the background uh, is the background layer. And notice, by the way, I did edit on layer zero. Um, probably I should have done a duplicate layer, but I, I am trying to stay away from layers for the moment. So, um, I'm going to use my clone tool. Remember with the clone tool that you put your cursor where you want to copy from, and I'm going to use this gravel for lack of a better place. And I'm going to hold down my, uh, alter option key and notice the cursor changes. I'm going to click, which basically anchors where I'm copying from. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to lower this 
make the circle a little smaller because it's a big area to fill. So I'm going to hit my left bracket to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to just kind of go and clone in the rock. And I'm not going to care at the moment that I just went over some of the, the uh, foreground rock. Uh, again, this is a demonstration only. Now over here I don't want rock, I want grass, so I'm going to select here. I'm going to hold down my control, no, my uh, alt or my option key. So I press that down and then I click on the cursor, on the uh, mouse that sets the anchor point. And I'll come over here and just draw in some grass. Uh, may not be perfect, but it's not bad. And sorry, uh, that's the house. So now I'm going to I'm going to back off. I'm going to go um, Command or Control minus just to zoom out. And that's basically uh, what I ended up with. So um, I can't show you before or after because I forgot to put a second layer in. Um, but I think the house stands out much better now in the scene. Um, again, maybe that's cheating, but I, I kind of like it this way. And I think that's enough for now as a review. I, I'll go over some other tools uh, in a separate video, but I wanted to go over at least those with you. I hope that helped. Um, and I guess this is Kevin Woodbury. Take care.